In 2007, the government of Zimbabwe decreed that the prices of all goods and services were to be cut by 50%. Failure to comply with this regulation would lead to imprisonment and the confiscation of goods in question. On the day the government implemented these price cuts, consumers stormed the shops to buy up as much as they could at the new lower prices. In a matter of hours, the shops were emptied. The consumers in Zimbabwe were clearly better economists than the government. They knew that this decrease in the price could only be temporary and would result in a severe shortage very quickly, as suppliers couldn't afford to continue production. To explain the persistent shortage that followed, the government claimed it was due to hoarding by greedy producers. They promised to hunt them down and confiscate their goods. Police squads were sent out across the country. But guess what? No goods were found. Suppliers had withdrawn, closing their factories and shops and halting the importation of goods. There were simply no goods to confiscate. And eventually, the government was forced to raise prices again.